A hit and run last week on 4th Avenue in the early morning hours. South Tucson police are now searching for the person responsible. Only on KGA 9, David Coronado talks with us about what happened in hopes someone out there can help police find the driver. We also want to warn you, though, images of his injuries are graphic, some we couldn't even show you. I didn't have a chance to think to do anything. It happened that fast to David Coronado. In just seconds, he's lying on the road, his knee mangled. That went down to the bone from the asphalt. David had simply been riding his bike to work to get in better shape. He turned on 4th Avenue and pedaled down the bike lane on the other side of the road to see the traffic in front, not behind him. That's when he noticed a truck coming, the engine revving. Where I'm riding starts getting really illuminated by some headlights. At that time, I look back and I noticed a truck, a white truck, F-150 that I remember just coming straight at me. Crossing the lanes of traffic near 32nd Street. When I look back, I just remember, oh, this is it. And I, to me, I remember bracing myself. David hits the truck's grill and then the ground hard. So I just felt a sharp pain in my right knee. It just felt like water was just running down my knee. But what really scared David, he says the truck didn't just drive off. Ends up stopping and it looked like it was gonna turn around. At that moment, I just feared for my life. I was like, I don't know what this guy's intention. David got up and ran to the nearest alley to hide. And I just hid under a truck while I called 911. He stayed hiding until police arrived. Now he wants the driver found and this question answered. Why? Why would someone do this? Like, go out of their way just to hit me when there's no traffic, there's nothing going on in the road, but just me and that car. David underwent emergency surgery to repair his shredded knee. He's now beginning his long recovery at home with his wife and young daughter. I actually told my, my wife that even if I lost a leg, I'm just glad I'm happy and, and that I'm alive. David's wife, Nancy, knows the dangers of being a correctional officer. It's a real fear each time David leaves the house. Every time we talk about it, I always tell him, you always come home no matter what. Mm -hmm. But <sighs> She, David, didn't expect anything like this. Now counting their blessings that this husband, father, is still here. And we reached out to South Tucson police. We're told they are searching for a suspect in this hit and run case. And of course, we'll keep you updated. We